Everybody deserves a right to dance. Everybody deserves the right to be who they are. Ballet was made for the elite humans because it, it needed to divide people. But dance is something that is meant to unite. I'm Michael Maya. I'm a dance teacher in Kibra. I'm also the founder of Project Elimu, which is an after-school centre for children living in Kibra. We teach dance, we teach classical ballet, we teach African dance, we teach modern dance, jazz. Ballet is therapeutic because it gives the children tools to understand their body, from their toes to their head up. The journey of learning how to point your feet, uh, the journey of understanding your body placement and your arms. So that gives the children uh, awareness within their body so they understand themselves. Mimi, toko kwa ballerina, nime nini gain. Yani kama senye tuna stretch, yani tunafanya tizi. Ina make mwenye ungi na kwa, yani na jisikia ipo kwa kidogo. Kwa sababu na puto ka home, na jisikia umechoka ba tukisha fanya tizi. Na jisikia uko fresh. So, I use it a lot now for children to make them uh, understand who they are and what they want for their future. My focus is not in making children professional dancers because we don't have uh, the facility and we don't have the proper mechanisms and tools for it, but we use it more as a therapeutic tool to give them confidence, to make them believe in themselves, to make them understand what they want. And also, we are a safe house. I can dance ballet, Mimi, one as can you come and to go to Damiangu, and Nataka Kufanya Zaidi. Kibra is quite rough and tough for young people living here. So they come here to just feel safe, to hang around each other, and to talk, and also to discuss issues that are affecting them within their community. or when you come out as a child saying, I'm from Kibra, uh, you're looked down upon. So the children have to do a lot. If you are studying, you have to study hard. If you're dancing, you have to dance hard. You have to do things three or four times harder to convince the outside world that you're actually better. So uh, as a child living here, besides just gender-based violence that the children face on a daily basis, Beside also like access to three meals a day, you also have to work extra hard to justify who you really are and what you really want. Because for instance, scholarship slots are very minimal and you have to fight with other children who have all these other stuff around them. So children in Kibra have to work extra hard. And that to me, I think is also an advantage because it makes us stronger, better every day. When I was dancing, we were very few boys involved into dancing. We were dancing because there's nothing else. We were dancing because we were running away from other stuff. So we found dance as a safe haven for us. It is the same thing we do with boys here. Uh, we have so many boys involved in our dance program. My work is always to try and find ways on how I can make the boys feel much more engaged and they feel part of it. I always say like boys are ballet because it's boys who lift the gut. It's boys who make the women shine. They're the muscles that are needed in classical ballet. Classical ballet cannot survive without the male components of it. So we try as much as we can to encourage more boys to join in. Me ballet means kutaka mwenyewe jilinone kuwa shule. Sayin kasi ambona mpena si join kuwe nao. Family yangu inaambianga tu iba ale nyo naenda. Si wewe unaona aji. Kuna simanga tu naona tu ni kuwe ballerina na niende ji. Now we are also getting more young disabled children being brought into our space. Initially, disabled children were locked in houses in Kibra. 
because of shame from their families or because no one takes care of them. But they're now being let out to come into a space to dance. We've had so many children uh, getting scholarships and even getting opportunities to travel abroad. Mimi kama ballet dancer, ningependa nikiwa mkubwa niweze kuwa ballerina dancer mwenye najulikana na watu na mwenye naheshimika na najua ku dance vizuri. Mimi ningependa nikiwa mkubwa niweze nikenda mali popote na naweza ku dance. So we've changed the notion of Kibra being a violence place to a place where people come in and watch a beautiful dance piece to a place where people come in and see children who are optimistic of their future. So uh, we've changed the notion and the mindset of people towards Kibra. When we do our dance performances, we don't go to the big theaters, we do them here. 